Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you what today is. Today is Zionist ZooTube Day. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Because we have this man in the White House, if you kind of call him that, who is 100% controlled by the Zionists who want to take away the guns. And he is wiping his ass with the American people. So when I'm done today, I'm going to take my Obama toilet paper that my friend Pat sends it to me, and I'm going to have a big bowl of vegetables, and I'm going to clean it up with this Obama toilet paper like he's cleaning his ass with the American people. Because, ladies and gentlemen, today's date is 1-1-6. And in case you don't know what that means, it's an upside down in 9-11, which is the day that the Zionists have make the World Trade Centers fall down. And they're rewriting the history because I see on YouTube videos that these people are saying that the Building 7 falls down on its own. And we know that's not the truth. But they're paying the people to come on to YouTube and make channels to deny these so-called conspiracy theorists because these are scumbags that are supposed to be reporting the news are destroying America by false lies. Like, where is the video, CCTV video from the Pentagon? From the, where is it? Where is the CCTV from Newtown? Where is it? Why aren't these newspaper reporters doing their job? I'll tell you why. Because they have, that's right, they have a dildo burger shoved into their old you know, the, into the bungs. They're bunged with a dildo burger. They're bunged with a dildo burger. They're bunged with a Zionist dildo burger. They got the Zionist dildo burger into their bung because they're taking it hard. Like this. we're taking it to heart. We're taking it hard, ladies and gentlemen. There's the Zionists to control newspapers and the Zionists to control Obama. I don't even know he's a Zionist to control because the look on his forehead, he has the Jewish star of David, which represents Zionism. And whenever you say the Zionist, you can see Mr. Obama on the chin, has the Zionist star on his forehead. And on the bottom has the Obama on his chin. Because, you want to know why? I'll tell you why. Because Mr. Obama has the Zionist Bippy on his chin, which is really a dildo burger, which is why this country is getting wiped in its in existence. The white man, the middle class American, the middle class black man, and all the other people that have worked so hard for the last hundred years. He is wiping it all out in 80 years. He wants to take the guns away on a one, one six upside down 9-11 that's why I make my new channel Zionist ZooTube that's right I have that the channel now I start uploading Zionist videos to that channel only because of Mr. Obama he wants to destroy America he wants to take away the guns he can have this gun he can have this gun this gun is the Daisy BB shooter it shoots at a daisy rifle air only. He can't have this gun. He can't have it. He can't have this one. And he can't even have... He can't have the dildo burger. That's what he can have. But he cannot... I'm going to tell you. He cannot... He cannot have my hammer. That's right. This is my tack hammer that I use to do work on in the car. Is he going to ban hammers? No. And he cannot have... This is a damn space pussy. He can have some space pussy, but he cannot have... He can... He cannot have my Rambo 3 knife. No, he cannot have that. This knife is stays with me because this is what I whittle the wood with. He cannot have that knife. Is he going to ban the knives because somebody got the stamp last week? No, he's not going to ban knives. He's only going to ban the guns. And like I said, ladies and gentlemen, he can have my daisy rifle. It makes it a nice air, and that air he can't take and he's going to blow something up with. Well, he kind of blow 
at the pieces of the paper on the wall. But he cannot. No, that's right. He cannot have my Diamondaire knife. He cannot have that. And his Zionist, the Zoo newspaper reporters that are not reporting the truth. And on the exact opposite of 9-11, the worst catastrophe that happened to America, 9-11, upside down, is 116. But nobody sees this. The Zionists don't make mention of this. But I make mention of it. And many other people on YouTube make mention of it. Because this is how they, the Illuminati does it with the numbers. In your face, but then they deny it. Like... When are they taking his words into the King James Bible? When they put the words in the King James Bible that they mean the hand signs like this and like that, and like that the, that the Zionist, the shill, Alex Jones. When he goes like this, every time he talks about the government, he goes like this. Every time. When he says of the government, he goes like this. He goes like this. Like this. He goes like that. When you look from overhead, Zionist Alex Jones, he's a shill. He's a Zionist. He's bought and paid for. And also, they put it in your face in this book is the codices between that and the one dollar bill with the Ark of the Covenant. And if you know how to read this book, then you know how to find the pictures or pictographs on the one dollar bill. Like I put in my book, Angels on the Ark, over the pictographs, which is known as a Fazagami, F-A-Z-I, G-A-M-I. Look it up. Origami Fazagami. They put these things right in your face. This is a picture of the sixth wing seraphim. Nobody can deny that it's there. And why is there a picture of the owl? Why is there a picture of the bohemian owl on the one dollar bill? Do you want to know why there's a picture of the bohemian owl? Because that represents the political system of the United States of America. And why is there a picture of the skull and bones inside the face of the ram's head or baffinet? Why is that there? Because it represents Yale Skull and Bone Society and the Bank of England, two controlling powers of the world. But why is there an Ark of the Covenant on the one dollar bill because it represents the Vatican it's the biggest of the three it represents the most powerful of the three they are all one in the same but the Vatican took the number one spot and took the entire reverse of the one dollar bill and the Ark of the Covenant on the one dollar pro bill proves there is no separation of church and state. There never was any separation of church and state because whatever you want to call it, the Illuminati, the Archons, the, the Zionists, the Black Pope, the Jesuits, they're all the same organization and all of them have representations on the one dollar bill. These are my discoveries that I give you. Do I get a hundred million hits? No, I get censored from YouTube for bringing you the truth. But Justin Bieber talks about who's going to date next week and he gets a hundred million hits because these Zionists want you busy so you can't pay attention to reality. Damn it, what they can have and what they can't have are all on my desk. They can have some space pussy. The Zionists can have all the space pussy they want. They can have my Obama chia pet. But they can't, they cannot have my Rambo 3 knife. I use this to work on boats when I go lobster fishing. They cannot have my Rambo knife. They can have the bippy that I like to put on my chin. This is the Zionist the bippy that I put with the two dicks on my chin. They can have this. They can have this because if I take this off of my chin, it doesn't matter to me. And then the people in the Howard Beach that think I'm a crazy, I give you some more fodder for your cannons, you morons, you all bunch of ignorant people that you are. You have no clue what's going on in this world. You are being controlled by your stupid games 
your stupid television programs and your stupid football and you call me crazy, you're crazy. Now, moving past that, they can have my Obama toilet paper, but only after I'm done with it. Like when Obama's done wiping his ass with America, it's going to be for free for all here. And they can have the free Obama toilet paper when I'm done for it. And they can have my doll, my Obama doll. They can have this doll when I'm done with it. And I'm done with it now. They can have my Obama masks, because I'm done with those. But they cannot have my Rambo 3 knife. Are you going to ban the knives too, Mr. Obama? Ha! Ladies and gentlemen, the Zionists do this type of thing on today's date, 116, as opposed to 911, because this is their way of sticking it to you when not nobody notices it. And then when you say something, you're a crazy conspiracy theorist like myself. However, everything that I just said in this video is true. You can have you can have my Obama toilet paper, wherever that went. You can have that when I'm done with it. And you can have my Daisy Air Rifle, wherever that went. Here it is, my Daisy Air Rifle. You can have that. You're allowed to have that. You watch it, you want to make a sound for Okay, and then make it a big sound. <laughs> Would make it a big sound. You can have that, but you can't have my Rambo 3 knife. And eventually it's going to boil down to people being able to protect themselves. And they're not going to like what you want to do. It's time that the world wakes up. It's time that the people of this world understand that we are being controlled by the Zionist zoo media and the Zionist controlled Congress. They're trying to pass a law in Oregon that if someone breaks into your house, you have to leave, run out the back door. You can't defend your family. You have to try to gather up your children and get out the back door before they find you in the house or you can get arrested for harming an intruder. This world is completely screwed. And these Zionist scumbags that control Congress and control this puppet in the White House, this man who's pretending to be POTUS and is trying to sidestep the Constitution and destroy America in one fell swoop, remove the guns, remove people's ability to protect themselves, and then they come in just like in all the other countries, whether it be Turkey or Russia or Germany or anywhere they remove the guns. The people of this world, America is on the hit list of the Zionist scum. You have to understand that. And I'll start posting videos on my new channel, Zionist Zoo Tube. That's right, I get it at the name. Ha, go figure, ladies and gentlemen. This is Michael Fazio from Key Largo telling you they are coming for your guns. They want your guns because they want you dead. That's why they're coming for your guns. Ha! That's right. Then have a nice day. And remember, Jesus loves you. Ha! That's right.